Welcome to Siberia! But is it really like this? Let's have a look around this Siberian city of 600,000 people. This is Kemerova in West Siberia. The current temperature is minus 20 and it's mid-August. Okay, it's January. We're going to start this first part of the city tour at the memorial to the fallen of World War II. Continuing the walk through the centre, you can really notice that there are lots of theatres spread across the town. Getting around this city is really easy. There's an abundance of public transport, from trams, to trains, to marshutkas, to buses. Sitting on top of the world's largest coal reserves, the city was built on its industry. Despite many of the factories closing, loads still remain, creating many jobs, but also major pollution issues. The scenery in and around the city is absolutely beautiful and there's parks dotted around its entirety. The city is dominated by the colossal river Ton and even has its own Hollywood sign. As seen in our previous vlogs, many people live in private houses, but the majority of people live in large apartment blocks, most of which were built in the Soviet period. But many of which are newly developed. Reflecting the variety of cultures, there are various religious buildings dotted across the city. The main square is packed full of attractions for kids and also lots of history. Oh, and this guy. Driving around the city, you will find loads of large shopping malls. You'll find lots of the unused factories have been converted into different things, like this one, which is a street food venue. Another thing you will notice is the wide straight roads. Twenty twenty was seventy five years since the end of World War Two, and there's memorials set up all over the city. There are lots of ice rings across the city, you can find them pretty much in any neighbourhood. This is the monument to the coal miners of the city. Is this how you thought a Siberian city would look? Let us know in the comments below. 